Good morning, it's a beautiful day in April and by request I'm going to show how to skin a rabbit. I've already removed the rabbit's head so it's quite dead and I'm just going to show a general technique I found that was very easy for a rabbit. And this is a domestic rabbit and a point you'll uh, find here is that domestic rabbit skin is much tougher than a wild rabbit and it will not tear as easily. With a wild rabbit, you'd be able to just grab the skin here and tear it down with your fingers. Not so with a, a domestic rabbit. Now, like I say, I've removed the head. It's bled out. I think that's a good thing to do. I'm going to just remove the front feet. My knife isn't extremely sharp, but it'll do for the job. I'm going to carefully port above that main ankle joint. I'm going to break the foot. Remove the foot. Remove the other back foot. So what we have now is both feet have been removed in the head. Now I have found the easiest thing for a domestic rabbit is just simply, it used to be how years ago I used to skin a squirrel. So I've made a slit in the back. I'm going to try to move a little closer so you get just a simple slit in the back. Okay, I'll take my fingers on both sides of that slit and just simply give a good hard pull and we're just peeling the skin right off you can see it was very simple wasn't anything too tremendous oh it takes a little muscle maybe but not much we peel it back now right at the tail area there you can see some tail stuck on we'll have to take care of that and it'll tie it'll tear a little shy of the feet it won't come off the whole way so you have these little pom-poms on kind of that you have to get rid of now I'm just pulling it up past and you try not to uh, handle the hair too much and then hold the body because then of course now the front feet stripped off they normally strip off pretty good so all I have is just uh, that tail and the little pom-poms excuse me what I do there I, uh, I'm just using my multi tool because this was kind of a an occasion that just came up so it takes almost a pliers to tear it off. Very hard to tear it off just with hand. Now if this was a wild rabbit, that skin would come right off just by fingers. I mean no problem. But a, a domestic rabbit's a much easier or much more difficult, much tougher skin. <laughs> so you can see that that's uh, believe it or not, a good pliers really makes a, a difference to pull that off you can take a knife and try and strip through it and all that okay that really removing them little tufts of skin at the back ankles are probably the hardest part of skinning a rabbit as I say I suggest cutting the head off letting it hang upside down if possible and let it bleed out good Okay, now we have that. Any of the attachments. This was a male rabbit, no big difference, but any attachments usually just can, a couple of them anyhow, pull right off. Okay, now for the ease of skinning, I go right underneath the breastbone, just skim under. You're not trying to get to the backbone and open up the chest cavity. Now, doing this part here, you have to be very careful. You don't nick the guts. You just skim under a very thin belly skin. And I hope that's showing up reasonably well. My knife is very dull. But you just cut back through there. You can see the entrails are starting to remove. And then, as much care as you can, try not to pierce the bladder. But you go right up through the pelvis, as much centered as possible. Now, at that point, it is cut what they might say stem to stern. I get a hold of the trachea, or the trachea and the esophagus above the lungs and the heart. I pull them clear. The lungs. I grab the diaphragm with my two fingers, and you can just strip out the whole body cavity very cleanly. As you can see, it's going the whole way back to the pelvis. The bladder comes out right back to that tail. Everything ends up right to the tail. 
just a little nick there down to the tailbone and we pull that free do a little clean up here and there where there might be some residue left but there you basically have a skin rabbit doesn't take long at all rabbits are one of the easiest animals to skin it's a great thing to practice on if you're a little squeamish or just getting started right here you have a very clean and it'll be a very tasty rabbit thank you for watching have a great day